Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel, it's Lex. And today's video is about to be an exciting one because I haven't done a Walmart haul video in like years. I haven't stopped shopping at Walmart. I always buy like tank tops and essential items from Walmart year after year. But it's been a minute since I've bought any items that I haven't showed in haul videos until now. So Walmart has been transitioning into their spring collection and I always like to go see what they have, what's new out. I already knew it was some items I wanted to pick up that I bought last year that I wanted to get in multiple colors, but I also wanted to check out the sandals. So that was my initial reason for going to Walmart is to see if they had a specific pair of shorts that I loved that I bought last year and then to check out their sandals. But of course, walking around, I found some other items that I can't wait to share with y'all. All right, y'all, so unlike a lot of the Walmart haul videos out right now, this haul is gonna be filled with neutrals and solid colors. Walmart, of course, has a ton of patterns and prints. I've seen a ton of floor prints, stripes, plaid, gingham. So if you're looking for like patterns, prints, and colors, honestly, I would just type into YouTube, Walmart spring haul, the girls got you. So many cute things. I already have a ton of prints and patterns and like bright colors that I wanna wear for the springtime. So right now I'm on the hunt for like essentials that I can wear season after season. So I was so happy to find these essentials at Walmart. I swear a couple of them are luxury dupes. And then of course I picked up some other fun, cute items for the springtime. All right, so I'm gonna start off with tops because I'm wearing one right now. And I swear you guys, you need this. All right, so here are the first tops that I have to share with y'all. And these are called the Maiden Form Flexies Wire-Free Camisole um, Tanks. So I picked up these tanks from the Shaper section in Walmart. And Chelsea Janae here on YouTube had mentioned stopping by Walmart to pick up this in black. And when I seen it on her and she talked about it, I realized that I hadn't been in that section in Walmart in a minute because if I knew that they had these, I would have been had them. These tanks right here, I think, are the perfect dupe to a Wolford bodysuit. Not the most popular Wolford bodysuit. I have two on my radar that I've been going back and forth with on getting. If you're like me, I'm not a big fan of bodysuits because just the bottom situation part on it. So finding a dupe of that being in a tank version, oh my gosh. But yeah, the two bodysuits, they have one that is the most popular one that... I believe can be converted into a strapless bodysuit and it's more of like a um, sweetheart neckline. And then they have this other one that I've been seeing a lot more that is shaped more like this. Like instead of cupping all the way, it kind of comes up. I'll pop up the specific bodysuit that I'm referring to, but it shows a little bit less boob and less skin, which I love because I feel like you can wear it during the daytime. But of course you can definitely wear it at night as well. And that bodysuit comes in these same two colors, but oh my gosh, these tanks are literally a fraction of the price. These tanks are just $19.94, so $20, whereas one of the Wilford bodysuits is like $200. So I went ahead and picked them up in both colors. And oh my gosh, you can wear these in so many different ways. You can lay your blazers on top. You can wear it just with some simple jeans or some shorts since it's spring and summer's coming up. So yeah, I'm super excited that I found these tanks. I'm gonna be traveling soon and these are such good basics just to bring along because you can wear them in a million different ways. You can dress them up or down. So yeah, I will have these linked below as well as everything in this haul. I'm in a size medium and for cup size, I um, I believe I'm a 36C. They always try to tell me I'm a D, but I my cups are not a D at all. Yeah, I would say I'm like a small C and the medium size, the coverage fits great. Um, I have a birthmark on my left boob. That's how, that's how I could tell like how much cleavage I'm showing and I can't see it at all, so. Okay, y'all have on the black tank and I just threw on a slip skirt that I thrifted. I just wanted to show y'all how nice this looks dressed up. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna show it wearing jeans, like shorts in a more casual way, but dressed up, oh my gosh, this looks so stinking cute. Once again, I'm wearing a size medium. So this is what the medium looks like on. I know sitting down, the boobs kind of look more pushed up and stuff. But this is what the medium looks like on. I don't have any spillage, no side boobs. So yeah, this looks so good together. I'm so excited about these tanks, y'all. Okay, so the second tank that I have to share with y'all, I picked up in the Shaper section too. And I got them in two different colors. It comes in three colors. I'm gonna pick up the white as well because I cannot have enough of these spandex nylon blend tops. I've had such a hard time just finding these tanks. I've only found them secondhand. So when I seen them at Walmart, I grabbed them. So I already have the black one open, but they come in little packages like this. It's the Seam Free Slimming Tank, 360 Slimming, Soft and Smooth and Cool and Comfy. 
I absolutely love these nylon spandex blend tops. I feel like they are great dupes for like the skim slimming tanks or like the um, skims fits everybody collection because those collections are made out of like nylon spandex materials. I love looking for tanks and tops like this because they don't stretch out over the time you wear them like how cotton blend tanks and tops do. It keeps its shape. It stays nice and form fitting as well as looking like a bodysuit. To me, these are essential in my wardrobe. I just love the way they fit. I can wear a bra with them. Unlike the Fits Everybody collection by Skims, it isn't see-through at all. And then of course, it is considered like shapewear. So it has that slimming effect as well. But the slimming effect isn't like uncomfortable at all. It's just more form fitting. So if you're always on the hunt for tanks throughout the year that are form fitting, that don't stretch out over the day, I would highly, highly, highly recommend checking out the Jockey Essentials line. Um, they also have like, I believe the regular camisole version, but I love the way these V-neck tanks look because you can dress them up, you can dress them down. Not sure if I mentioned, but I picked these tanks up in a size medium. They come in three different colors, the tan, the black, and the white color that I need to pick up. And they are just $11, y'all. So a really good deal for a nice slimming tank. Perfect dupes if you're looking at that slimming tank that Skims has. And then of course, if you're just looking for some breathable tank tops for the spring and summer. Okay, I have the tank on. I want to show it real quick because I'm not wearing a bra. So I want to show you guys how good this is. Like it's not see-through at all compared to other collections. If you like the, um, what is it called? The contour, body contour collection by Express, you would like these tanks and I just unbuckled the short so you can see how long the tank goes it comes to about right here so not too long I did an order pickup for the white one and I just put it on it is a little bit see-through with it being white but I just put on some nipple covers and boom good to go I don't even have to wear a bra with it so yeah these tanks are about to be my go-to all right and I picked up one last item from the shaper section at Walmart and it is by Jockey Essentials 2. And this one is called the Women's Long Leg Bodysuit. And it's basically um, a short bodysuit, slimming bodysuit. I got this in a size extra large, like I said. I'm always nervous when it comes to like one pieces, one suits, whatever you want to call them. I always run into the issue of the top half fitting right if I get it like in my shirt size and then the bottom half fitting entirely too tight. Or I can get it from my bottom half, which is like a size large, extra large, and then worry about like gaping in the top half being too big. But with this being like a bodysuit, play suit situation, I, was, I really wasn't too concerned with it fitting like skin tight on the top half. I just didn't want the bottom part, the thigh section, like cutting into my thighs. And I'm so glad I went with the extra large. It definitely gapes in the back a little bit, like it's not skin tight on like my stomach and back area. But I love the way this fits. I plan on just using this as a lounge piece, but I can easily throw on like an oversized shirt if I just need to run like to the store real quick. Unlike other versions that I've seen online of just like a simple short bodysuit set, it doesn't have like that back part that um, makes it obvious that it's shapewear. The only thing that I think uh, makes it obvious that it's shapewear and you shouldn't be able to like see this, it has like that little slit, um, not a slit, it's like a fold over to where you can just like move the material out the way and use the restroom so where you don't have to take the entire suit down. Um, so I would wear underwear under these if I like planned on like going outside cause you know, you don't really feel exposed but I think it's just more like a mind thing. So yeah, just be mindful of that. But yeah, I love the way it fits. Super comfortable on. I wore it the entire day after trying it on. It comes in that same like packaging like the uh, tank style show. It was just $14.94, so $15. And it comes in this black shade as well as a tan color. So yeah, don't think I'm gonna pick up the tan version because that looks more like shaper to me. Whereas the black, I feel like I'm good way with wearing it outside. And then of course, just wearing it to lounge around in the house in. So yeah, all right, so I have on the jumpsuit and I just threw on an oversized shirt to show y'all how I would wear it if I was like running out to the store real quick, have on a little tote bag. This is so comfortable and perfect for running errands. The shorts come long enough for me. I don't like my biker shorts or like shorts connected to like a jumpsuit to be too short since I'm tall. And of course, if it gets too warm, you can always take off your t-shirt and tie it around your waist. I'm really loving these jockey essentials. I know I said I wasn't gonna pick it up in tan, but I just might, I just might. Okay, so this next top that I have to share with y'all, I'm super excited that I found at Walmart because I've been looking for a sweater vest like this to layer with 
second hand and I haven't had any luck. So when I seen this at Walmart for $11, I was on it. No boundaries is Walmart's junior line. So I definitely made sure I got this in a size large since I wanted it to fit oversized. And oh my gosh, it is perfection. I have been loving seeing sweater vests paired on top of like button down shirts. I also love the way it looks oversized, like with the shorter part, just with a pair of jeans on. It has two slits on the side and the back is a little bit longer than the front. I just would not be able to tell that this was by No Boundaries. I would think that this was by Time and True just because No Boundary pieces run a little bit more trendy in my opinion. I'll definitely make sure I link this down below because I swear this is the perfect little sweater vest for the springtime. It's not too heavy either so I can definitely get away with wearing this like in 70 degree weather. I'm excited to style this piece up for sure. They have this sweater vest online in the shade gray, but it's sold out. Oh my gosh. I, if anybody can find the gray, let me know because, oh my gosh, I would pay an extra $5 for it. Super cute. All right, y'all. So I just threw on the sweater vest. I want to style it up really quick. Hopefully the lighting isn't washing it out too much, but I just threw it over top this oversized white button down shirt that I turned into like a shirt dress that I thrifted for like $7. These two pieces look so, so cute together. This is what it looks like. I really want this sweater vest in gray or another color because it is so stinking cute. Okay, I have the sweater vest on now, tucked into some jeans. So simple, but so chic, so cute. And I also have on that camisole underneath. So I have a little extra layer of warmth because right now in Nashville, the spring, the low is still like in the 40s, 50s. Like if it gets into the high, it's only in the high for like two hours. Like, so honestly wearing a sweater right now is still perfectly fine. Oh, this is so cute, love. All right, y'all, so moving along to bottoms. I picked up four pair of shorts, one pair of shorts, literally in three different shades. Okay, so last summer, I went to Walmart and picked up the simple pair of black trouser shorts. They were like $12 and some change. They had them in multiple colors. I was like, ah, you just need black. I was wrong. These shorts became an essential for season after season. So I wore them the rest of the summer, paired them all fall with like oversized sweaters and oversized blazers. And then during the winter time, I thrifted a ton of like blazer dresses and they paired perfect underneath the blazer dresses. So needless to say, this year I knew I had to pick these up in all the neutral shades that they offered. These shorts are by Time and & True and they are called the Millennium 4 inch short. I picked these up in a size medium and these have like a super nice stretchy material that isn't like cheap. I don't know exactly how to like describe this material, but it's super, super nice. I have the black pair right here that I purchased last year and they're holding up so well. I just washed them on cold and then hang them to dry. These shorts hit me in a nice length too. I got them in a size medium. The medium says eight to 10. I believe the large was a little bit too big, whereas the medium fit just right. I am tall, I'm five foot ten, and they don't fit too short on me. Like I don't feel like my booty cheeks are hanging out in these shorts at all. And I freaking love Walmart. They're priced just the same as last year, so they're just twelve dollars and some change. I picked them up in all the neutral colors, so I picked up another pair of black because you can never have too many pair of black shorts. I picked up a tan color and then I picked up a white color. I'm going to be living in these shorts spring and summer, especially when it gets too warm to where denim is just uncomfortable. I remember wearing the black pair last summer and they were still breathable during those hot months. I can dress these shorts up or down like these cream and white pair. I'm so excited to style up with some nice pretty spring colors. They have pockets, I don't know if I mentioned that, but oh my gosh, they did not take the pockets away. Love, love, love that. So yeah, I'm so happy that Walmart brought these bottoms back. I am set for shorts for the spring and summer season because these right here are perfection. All right, y'all, so I have on the tan shorts and I just paired it with this blouse that I thrifted by Jones of New York. And I have my Brendan Blackwood trunk. So cute. This is such a cute day outfit. This would also be a cute outfit for a brunch. Yeah, you guys, I'm serious about these shorts. They are essential. All right, the next pair of bottoms I have to share with y'all are some Agoti dupes. These are by No Boundaries and they are called the High Rise Crossover Relaxed Shorts. And this is in the shade black. These um, come in a couple different shades. The blue denim looked like it was possibly made of like stretch denim. Whereas the Agoti and just any jean like this is usually made out of like hard denim. The type of denim that doesn't have any stretch. 
So that's why I opted for the black denim versus the regular blue jeans. But oh my gosh, these are so, so stinking cute. The denim is actually hard. I definitely want to add some more distressing. But these are the perfect dupe to the Ago. Well, I, I don't want to say perfect dupe because it gives you the, the perfect dupe look to the Goldie jeans. Because I'm sure quality rise, like, you know, it really ain't no competition. I'll have a picture of the uh, Goldie jean shorts that I am talking about. Those jean shorts are like over $150. Super cute, but if you can get the look for less, why not I feel like the whole crossover detail we're still trying to see if that's gonna be like a classic jean style or not so I'm glad I found these at Walmart to test out that trend it comes with the um, butterfly buttons so it's no zipper just um, buttons all the way up I got these in a size 15 I was a little bit nervous about getting these in a size 15 because I have been averaging a size 12 in no stretch denim. But with these being by no boundaries and that being the junior's department, some told me just to size up. And I went ahead and sized up. I found these online looking for um, a sandal in a different color. So I'll link these below because they do come in, like I said, a couple different colors. The black stood out the most to me because the quality just looked the best out of the pictures. And these are like real jean shorts so all the pockets are functional the front the back even like the mini ones like no boundaries did a really good job on this jean like i feel like in store all the jeans were like boyfriend style or skinny the kind of jeans i already had in my collection so i definitely need to bring these in store because i swear they'll be a hit okay i went ahead and threw the shorts on with this high neck bodysuit that i got from zara y'all i think i need to order these shorts in the blue color because they are so stinking cute. Super comfortable on. I got a size 15 like I said. Yes, this is the perfect casual but cute outfit. I love these shorts. Like, I'm honestly super shocked y'all that I really, really love these shorts. I was not expecting to like them as much as I do. And like I mentioned earlier, I just love the way it looks with high necks. Like, yes. Throw on some cute sneakers, some cute sandals. And we're ready to go. The next item I have to share with y'all is this beautiful baby doll white dress. Oh my gosh, when I seen this, I was just like, oh, it's so stinking cute. This is by the brand Derek Hart. Now, I know Walmart is starting to add uh, a lot of more like new brands, but Derek Hart, I feel like I've seen this brand like at Ross or TJ Maxx. But um, what's interesting about it is when you look it up online, like on walmart.com, it's popping up as no boundaries. So I'm not quite sure what's going on with that, but the tag says Derek Hart, and it's just a simple button down baby doll style dress. Oh my gosh, this is so stinking cute on. My only con is that it is so, so short on me. So I would have to wear this like with some actual short shorts underneath, not like no slip shorts or like, you know, some shorts you lounge around the house on. I like mean, I would have to wear denim shorts underneath or like those tan shorts that I showed you earlier because if I bend just a little bit, my whole butt is hanging out. I thought about returning it because of the length and it was um $17.98 so $18 but it's just so stinking cute on like I already sized up a large I don't know if an extra large would make a difference they had this in a couple different prints a gingham print and then I think another shade but like I said I like solids I kind of already got the prints and colors that I already want to wear spring and summer so it being all white classic just i just love the way white dresses look in the spring and summer so like it was a no-brainer i shop a lot secondhand so i'm always on the hunt for a white baby doll style dress it's quite hard to find so yeah y'all let me know should i just go ahead and return it and try to find one long enough keep it it was just 18 dollars what do y'all think but yeah love the way this looks on super cute i would just have to wear shorts underneath all right y'all i have the baby doll dress on oh my gosh so stinking cute i have on the tan shorts that i showed with it this dress with pops of color oh my gosh but i still feel like i look like i don't have any shorts underneath because the way baby doll but baby doll dresses go out so i don't know y'all should i return it and just get another baby doll dress all together that's a little bit longer to where i'm not looking like I'm naked because even though I know I'm not naked I feel like I would have to wear longer shorts to where it doesn't look like 
is she like just you know so y'all let me know does it still look too short even with shorts even though we know i have shorts on underneath it or is it good to go should i keep it 18 dollars. so stinking cute though okay the next two items i have to share with y'all are swimwear when i seen this top oh my gosh it is so beautiful it looks so luxe on i just had to pick it up the price caught me by surprise i wasn't expecting it to be $18 and some change, basically $20. I'm expecting more $15, but it's by Time and True. So the quality is there. I feel like I tell the quality difference between the Time and True swimwear versus the No Boundary swimwear. Um, I picked this up in a size medium and oh my gosh, it looks so luxe and nice on. I didn't even worry about pairing or picking up like a specific or the specific pair of bottoms that went with this. I don't even think it is any. So when I wear this swimsuit top, I definitely just plan on wearing it with like some high-waisted swimsuit bottoms, gold accessories. Like, oh my gosh, this is just such a cute top. I feel like it can almost double as just like a simple, cute crop top too. Depending on how you style it, I feel like it won't read like swimwear, swimwear. So as far as the straps on the top, they are adjustable. Um, the top half, it looks like it almost goes into like a halter tank to where you can like tie it, but it actually goes into like shoulder straps. I will say, I don't feel like I have large shoulders or small shoulders, but I had to adjust the strap to where it was the tightest. So I feel like the straps kind of run a little bit big on this swim top because this is a size medium and I had to like tighten it all the way, which I never have to do with like adjustable straps. The back as well, once again, I kind of had to tie it like all the way, um, but it fits great, no issues. It doesn't have like any slippage or slidage going on. It's lightly padded. So yeah, I'm super excited to wear this. Like I said, I'll just probably pair it with some black high-waisted swim bobs. I feel like that will look best with this. But I also picked up a pair of, and this was literally not even a fun purchase. This was like a purchase that I was like, okay, you like just need um, some no boundary swim shorts. Um, I don't know about y'all, but I have the hardest time finding full coverage swim bottoms. So if I'm going somewhere like a theme park, a water park, somewhere where I know kids are going to be around, I don't want like swim bottoms that fit like thongs. I don't even like thongs to begin with. Like, So I wanted to pick up a pair of black swim short bottoms that I could just pair with any black swim top and not have to worry about like butt cheeks hanging out. These have like the cute... Um, uh, size to where you can like adjust it scrunch it up you know make it a little shorter if you want I got these in a size large I could have went with an extra large but the large fits like I said I just don't want any cheekage hanging out and knees like you, you get a sliver of butt <laughs> which is fine but but yeah I might pick them up in the extra large because of that plus I feel like it won't hurt to have two pair of swim short bottoms these are just $10 by No Boundaries, like I said. I believe they only came in black. That was the only color that I seen. So yeah, I will link them down below. All right, y'all, here's what the swimsuit top looks like on. So stinking cute. This looks so luxe. Like I said, I would just wear it with some high-waisted swimsuit bottoms. Oh my gosh, I am in love. I'm gonna go ahead and put this in my suitcase because it is coming with me. All right, y'all, I just threw on the No Boundaries uh, swim shorts. And it actually looks pretty cute with the swim top too. So this is what they look like on. They have the strings on the side. So if I wanted to shorten them, I could. They come mid-rise on me. So not over my belly button, like right at it. Yeah, I would definitely rock these two swim pieces together. And it's still tasteful if you're going to be around kids. All right, and the last thing I picked up from Walmart, which was the first thing I went to, is these cute pair of braided sandals. These are by Time and True, and they were just $14.98. I love Walmart sandals because a lot of them, if not all, come with that nice memory foam padding. So they're so, so comfortable on. I picked them up in like this warm ivory color, but they came in like this cute lilac purple. Um, I got these in a size 11, the 10 fit as well, but I like the more roomy fit that the 11 gives. These are like so, so nice y'all. The quality is there and I, I swear I see these style of like braided shoes um, by a specific brand that... Um, Target honestly dupes all the time. It's the, the Dolce Vita brand because my sister wanted some sandals from them and like ended up going with like the dupes from Target last year. So when I seen these, oh my gosh, it reminded me of like the heeled version that I see all the time of those shoes. 
And then online I seen that they had these in black as well, but of course they were sold out. But I'm so glad that I found them in Ivory because I know I will wear these out this spring and summer. Check out Walmart for shoes, y'all. They have so many, so many cute shoes. They've added a couple more brands too. This one cute pair with, is the brand called Sam and Libby. Oh my gosh, they have an ivory pair of that sandal that I seen, heeled sandal that I seen in store online for pre-order. But I, I'm thinking about getting the pair that I tried on in store was so comfortable on, so cute. But once again, that blue color, I was like, oh, I don't really have nothing in my wardrobe to match it. Whereas the ivory color that they have online for pre-order, Oh yeah, I would definitely get a ton of wear out of those. So yeah, make sure you check out Walmart's sandal collection before everything sells out. They have so many cute options. They have so many trendy shoes and of course, classic pieces like ballet flats and you know, some basic pair of sneakers. All right, y'all, so that's it for this Walmart haul. I hope this was helpful. If you're always looking for basics and essentials like I am year round. As always, if you enjoyed this video and want to see more like this, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye.